Let's be honest, friend. If there are three stages that you can be in, then I wish you never left the third stage. And there might be one or two serious people that are watching this that will reach the third stage. So let's start with the first one. It's the unconditioned stage. You were once born free from self-improvement. A beautiful, unconditioned human being. I guess I don't remember anymore someone who was at peace or didn't even know what that meant. And then you grew older, but you didn't try to improve at puzzling, did you? Or improve at playing with your toys, right? Isn't this funny? You've changed so much, my friend. You've changed so much. You've proved that so many things. I say that without sarcasm. Your life is so much better, right? That's with sarcasm. Because you improved. Of course, you're better now. Or is it? It reminds me of a quote from Muhammad Ali. I only start counting when it starts hurting. Because they are the only one that counts. So what are you counting? The amount of pages you read every morning? The minutes of meditation? Or the time it will take you to truly get out of life what you want? I mean, exposure is extremely powerful not just the friends around you not just the things that people say and not even the things they implied you know those things that they say without words goes as far as everything and anything in your environment even the weights in the gym are limiting your potential because they only go up so much you see what i mean i was thinking about this recently i just saw the reality of anything limiting me when i was in the gym i noticed that the weights only go up to 50 kg if everything is made for the average human being and if the weights go up to 50 kg because the average gym shark does 25 kg then you are put in an invisible box where only the true seeker escapes from for this is often the only person who sees it is not an invisible cage so what i'm trying to say is in practical terms to maybe make it more clear that with self-improvement you may get from 25 kg to 50 kg after five years of hard training and effort but we will never get to 200 kg never i know i'm making it more extreme do you see my point and do you accept that you will never get that high brings me to the second stage that well most people are in the conditioned one right now you probably believe you believe that self-improvement is good for you right and i say that because i really believe self-improvement was good for me so i assume you have the same although i'm not sure so ask yourself i would say and i'm not saying that self-improvement is bad that isn't my question and my opinion doesn't matter nobody's opinion should matter to you so question everything for yourself so you can find out what's true so let's speak the truth could it be that you've been conditioned to believe that self-improvement is good for you because after all all of your biggest idols and maybe idols is a big word but everyone you watch and listen to you know the, the guys that you listen on spotify podcast or youtube whatever it is they imply that all of this stuff is good for you they don't always say it but they imply it right think about it and some might disagree they give their opinion about other things ice bath isn't good for you waste of time and then you listen to that and you believe that again is this correct i'm asking you do you have the fundamental belief that improving at things is good that you are better than others if you go to the gym or exercise regularly that you are better when you eat healthy have more habits read books meditate or practice martial arts you are better when you become a millionaire have a wife or two build a family become a father therefore have kids that you become better when you build a business sell your company do i need to continue do you believe that all of these things are good for you please think about these things for yourself by the way big disclaimer i'm a conditioned individual just like you i'm not better than you i've not mastered life yet i may have made some realizations that are absolutely true but never believe me as beliefs will always be beliefs so naturally self-experimentation is the only way for the serious person so the unserious one stops watching here or probably already stopped i have another question do you think Miyamoto Musashi was improving his sword skills? Or do you think he was living in isolation in the forest to improve his stoicism? By the way, for the people who don't know him, well, look him up. That's a better thing to do. But arguably one of the greatest samurai warriors ever lived. If you keep trying to improve, you may improve. That's true, I don't deny that. Just look at it for yourself. You have tried to improve, right? And you probably did. Probably improved a bit. But will you spend your whole life trying to improve? Improve? a centimeter over there a few kgs over there why improve my friend if you truly realize that you are a sinking ship that your body is burning down in real time wouldn't you feel the urgency would you really meditate so this one hit me hard when i wrote it as my writings are almost like a way to get closer to the reality for myself and it was this do you realize you're trying to improve a
person. So why do you want to improve? Are you reading to become rich? Or are you just becoming a better reader? Are you practicing martial arts to become the greatest fighter? Or fighting so you can show and tell others, right? You're putting it on social media. Are you meditating to find peace? Or are you just becoming a better meditator? Why are you doing all of this? Don't know the answer. You may, for one, stop distracting yourself with blah blah woo woo and just use the limited time you have on this earth to ask yourself what do I want really not searching on YouTube on for tips how to find my purpose not asking Google for a technique that will help you find your meaning in life question it for yourself by yourself until you find the answer and even after keep the question alive so you may stop wasting time so you may stop improving at nonsensical things that don't really matter to you you can start to go towards self-perfection at the things that you really want instead of all this self-development bullshit and even the word self in self-improvement isn't true that's a topic for another video by the way if you're new here i'm jordan 23 years old did over 4 million dollars in revenue hired over 50 people and i started making these videos in 2012 well not these videos i started making videos in 2012 they were quite a bit different and some of them i would say my previous self would have seen them as embarrassing and currently i'm growing my personal brand through writing art and film which will help me remove the need for money with little waste of time because i hit two birds with one stone self-realization and financial freedom are the birds and my creation process which is writing is the stone i share this because you've been conditioned to care about numbers and appearance but it is effectiveness over appearance that matters and self-improvement to most it's just nice to talk about right i mean when i I'm just completely honest to myself and may share it with you. Self-improvement boosted my ego. I didn't really tell much about it to others, but it definitely improved my ego. And you may ask yourself if you really want that. So what is effective when you get out of life what you want? So what do you want? Which brings me to the last stage, which is total freedom. The realization that everything you know has been a lie. Everything in your life is a lie. From self-improvement to going to the gym, to becoming successful, to thinking it is good to listen to podcasts and even the fundamental beliefs like that you should have kids is a lie but it will do you no good to believe me you are here alone i can't help you nobody can help you nobody has helped you you may think so you've done everything yourself and you got what you wanted if you think you didn't get what you want and you didn't really want it and what you think you want right now probably what you don't really want yourself and even the identity of the person you call yourself is a myth that is true for 99 percent the people who watch that everything is a lie it's like the people in the 17th century believe that the earth is flat 99 percent of the things you believe today are lies but please find out for yourself because my words are just words and don't believe them because you will fall for the same trap and if you don't do that if you don't ask yourself after watching this video then you aren't stupid you are just not so serious like everyone in the world even the people you look up to most people i cannot name for they are holy in your head and they can't be touched even they are unserious that's what i've realized for myself they may have a lot of money they may have a lot of success how you define that do they have total freedom will they ever get what they really want out of life will you ask yourself and will you find the answer that's what i leave you with only the serious person may check the show notes to the unserious one here is a poem that summarizes the essence of my message unconditioned what a state to be before the world came and conditioned thee a child at play no need to improve no chains of self-betterment to prove and as we wander into the conditioned zone where your beliefs are etched in stone even the idols you hold in high esteem are trapped in the same illusionary dream do we really desire all that we chase or is this just the same old red race you've done it all didn't you meditation reading all the success habits saying to yourself i am successful or so you thought but did you get what you truly sought? Why improve, my friend, if we're all sinking? In a world where people with true peace is shrinking, total freedom awaits for those who dare question to seek to become aware. Talk soon.